Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. It's your girl one more. If you're new, hello, nice to meet you. Make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications to get notified every single time when we want to upload a new video. That's video and that's all. Period. So guys, in today's video, as you guys can see from the title, yes. This is a video of everything you need to know about Pan Atlantic University. Please ignore every background noise you may hear in this video. Yeah. Anyways, I want to apologize to everybody that has reached out to me, asking me questions about PAU, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to do a video. Da 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 da. I'm so sorry. This video is coming late. I've been extremely busy, and I've not had time to film or edit anything. But yeah, I am now. You guys may know I'm a student of Pan Atlantic University, and I'm studying computer science. I'm currently entering my second year in uni. Oh my God. That sounds so crazy. So first off, I just want to bust your bubbles. PAU, what is PAU? Pan Atlantic University. If you're not ready for stress, I don't know what you're looking for in that school. Because get ready to walk. There's nothing like play. There's no time for play, no time for resting, all of that. You need to walk. You're walking like two, four, seven. So if you're not ready for stress and all of that, I don't know what you're looking for in that school. And uni is not like what you guys think it is. It's not like greenish. Just know it is not like greenish because most people think uni is like greenish. Oh my god, I'm in uni. Nah, it's nothing like that. But anyways, let's get right into this video. So first off, I'm sure many of you, yes, most of you have gotten admission and all of that. Um, also, this video is also for future students that would like to come to pay you. So let's talk about the interview. How is like the interview like? So I remember most of the things they asked me. So if you like need help with your interview or anything, I don't know, you can reach out to me on Instagram. And please when you reach out, say hi, um, interview something, like say why you're texting me because... I'm a very busy person like just state your purpose for texting for your interview you're going to do a pursuit me so you're going to write like an essay and after that they're going to ask you different types of questions something like that the interview is not hard it's not hard you will not die i promise the interview is not hard but it's really good yeah so now we're going to talk about orientation so your orientation is for three days so i will advise you if you're coming to pa you please come early come early as per like come like two days before your orientation starts or like this video when this video is coming out you guys are resuming on october 1st if i'm not mistaken so i advise you to go this saturday so you can settle down arrange all your things so you have time to like um go around the school like arrange your things because i don't want it you don't want like when classes start or during your orientation that you want you'll be stressed and all of that you have to arrange your clothes you have to arrange all your things all of that so i advise you you should come early so you can settle down properly and take it all of the school or something like that i don't know also like when you come so on monday like when i came when i started my orientation when i went early Isha, during my orientation week and all of that we started with sports we had sports like for the first day then the second my orientation was for three days so orientation is usually for three days and you're meant to dress formally just so you guys know formal in the sense like in my time many people did not dress like formal formal but they allowed them but i dress formal so please dress formal but like it's not really that deep yeah but you're meant to dress formally if that makes sense so on the last day of your orientation they will give you food please don't be like me and don't eat anything because i was forming big girl now nah, people will see me pack everything you can pack because that's the last time you'll do anything like that pack every food everything you see pack it don't do any posh babe and a big girl da, da, da. eat everything you just pack just carry pack everything you can eat my dear pack eat everything you can honestly speaking please eat what you can don't form any big girl or any of that child so your rotation is for three days you dress formally yeah then on the last day they give you food and please 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 do your orientation please listen to everything they tell you especially when it's when it's time for um course registration please listen to when they are telling you to register your courses because it's going to help you because if you don't register your courses you're not going to get any results for anything because what course what course did you register that i want to get the results for if that makes sense please listen to when they're telling you oh this is time for you to register your courses do this do that, 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 that. in my time computer science students could not register but later later so whenever they say oh this is time please register your courses on time if not it's going to cause a big problem for you. when it's time for results you will not receive any results so please and please register for your courses listen to everything they're telling you during your orientation please and also um please during this orientation time 
take time to take a tour of the school if you're an SST student that doesn't mean you shouldn't take a tour of TY building they could take it off you might not understand what I mean by SST building TY building when you get to the school you understand please take it off TY building take it off SST building everywhere because you don't want to be like me there was a time I went to meet my cousin and I was like oh she was like oh go to Susan's so office I was like ma where's that she's like are you a student of this one I'm like yes Please don't be like me. Take a tour of the building. Take a tour of the schools so you know where everywhere is. So it's not new to you. When it's time for classes, you know where to go to and all of that. So please just take a tour of the buildings. Yeah. By the way, they take attendance during orientation. So please and please do not miss your orientation for anything. It's going to help you. Yeah. They take attendance. By the way, I don't know what is the attendance for, but they shall take attendance just so you know. Don't come like. Many people don't want to come for your education because they feel it's necessary. It is very much necessary. So please make sure you are there. You are there for everything. And yes, do not come late for your orientation. Because of on the first day I came late. On the first day I came late. They allowed us so then after break, once you come late, you stay outside. They were like, oh, if you come late, da 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 you stay outside. And they locked us outside. So please do not come late for your orientation. First day, second day, go early. There, make sure your time if not they will lock you outside just like where you're going for your classes do not come late if not the lecturer will not let you in all of that yeah next we are going to dress code yeah many people are like okay period they think like period is a school where you're allowed to wear anything you want no you're not allowed to wear anything you want there's actually a dress code okay so please many people make this mistake i just want to let you guys know that for formal wears please and um, please and um, please your formal wear should just be for your orientation when you have um, presentations which you really do as a computer science student, you really have presentations. But if you're a mass student, I don't know, but like I think they have present, especially during that like, second semester, they had a lot of presentations. But as a computer science student, you don't really need formal ways like that. Just be like maybe like three, four, five. I don't know. You can wear some of the clothes that you wore during orientation if you have presentations. Really not that deep because don't go and buy a lot of formal ways because you'll just be odd you'll just be the odd one out because you see everybody wearing like casual wears and you're dressing formal so please don't even buy like so many formal wears it's really not necessary it doesn't need during your orientation during presentations during your matric yes now please i'm saying this now please start looking for you clothes you're going to wear for your matric you're going to you're also meant to dress formal but this is your matric you have to dress fine all of that so start looking for your clothes now and also pay you dress code applies to that also yeah so your formal wear is just for um presentations any um events that um, the school is having and you're meant to dress formal that's when you wear like formal ways and all that but if you're having normal classes and you're not having a presentation there's no point wearing any formal way yeah and by the way your matric is in like january just so you guys know. so please start looking for your clothes now and if you like to do your makeup for your matric i do makeup just so you guys know i'm shy if you like me to do your makeup for you just send me a message on ig just send me a message on IG and I'll be sure to reply you. Then there's also like a dress code for sports. Um, just so you guys know, joggers are allowed in the school, sports are allowed, but it's like from after 6 pm. You can't wear joggers to school, like for normal classes, but after 6 pm, you're allowed to wear that's during weekdays. But during weekends, Saturday is also from 6 pm, but on Sunday, you can wear joggers like all day. But during the week and on Saturdays, you're meant to wear joggers or sweatpants after 6 pm. That's when you're allowed to wear them. And also for slippers, slides, all of that, you can wear them from after 6 pm all day on Sunday. Yeah, so for sports, yeah. Your, you cannot wear like shorts like if you want to wear shorts your shorts must not be above your knee if not they will send you back and your shorts must not be like so short or too tight but this is what you can do you can just wear like a long joggers or something then when you get to like the field you can change there i don't know how you want to do i don't play sports so i don't really know but i shall know that they wouldn't allow you to wear some certain things to play sports so just take what what you know they will allow you to wear then when you get there you can change no plunging neckline so you can see what i'm wearing here like if it's like here or something like that they wouldn't let you wear it so like your neckline must not be like so exposed anything showing cleavage all of that is not allowed even this one would you allow me it depends though i have to like move it up if it's like too down they wouldn't let me wear any of that so you don't let me and you're not off shoulder you can't no off shoulder you can't like but if it's like this mm, they can allow you but if it's like off shoulder 
not allowed. Your skirt and your dresses must be, must be knee length or longer or below. Is it above, below? Below your knee is under, right? I think so. It must not be, it must be knee length or below your knee, any of that shall. So for your skirts and dresses, you're not allowed to wear tight dresses as far like your shape. Anything that involves showing your shape, forget about it, it's not allowed in your school. Anything that shows your shape too much is not allowed. Like your skirt and dresses must not be too tight. But I don't even understand. But they have been letting like skirts, you know this long skirts that are like fitted, yes. That's allowed. I don't understand too. So. But that's allowed, Sha. You can wear all this long but let it have a little flare to it. So, even if it's so tight, and like even up like at the leg side is also tight, they wouldn't let you wear it. So, just let it have like a little flare to it, then they'll let you wear it. Also, for dresses, to let it have like a little flare at the end, something like that. Don't let it be like tight as far like at the leg side, if not, they would as far like pencil skirt, something like that. They wouldn't let you wear it. So, let it have like a little flare to it, and they'll let you wear it. You can wear all them tight skirts, all of that stuff. But for jeans, tight jeans are not allowed. No, it is allowed tight jeans are allowed but your your top eh? your top must be like must cover your your top must cover your ties and your hips well honestly speaking i don't even know about that one because of my second semester i wore like i usually used to like wear um straight jeans with like as far like pencil jeans is that what it's called i don't know like pencil jeans with like t-shirts is it shirt with it i wear like pencil jeans with a shirt and they're like oh this is not allowed again but i'm like but like during my first semester that was why i mostly wore they allowed me so why can't i wear it now so honestly i don't know just to be safe just forget about it and just buy little baggy jeans you can wear it though but they will tell you that your top must be reaching your knee also for leggings leggings are allowed but the top you must wear must like reach your knee so there's really no point wearing leggings to class i mean why is your top reaching your knee that's like basically like a dress so it, honestly there's no point we just forget about leggings um if you want to wear like tights or panties like let's say you want to wear a short skirt you don't want to like wear tights to make you look as if like it's not that's not allowed just so you know as long as your skirt is not on your knee forget about it your dress is not on your knee forget about it yeah also sleeveless tops are not allowed anything that like spaghetti hands like your hand is small is not allowed as long as it's not like this or longer forget about it Um, share materials are also not allowed like if you share like don't let it be so obvious that they can literally see through your skin at least let it have some coverage you know they will let you honestly it depends on the security guard because some security guards may not allow you wait it honestly depends on the security guard um if your clothes like you're wearing like a mesh top or net something like that forget about it that's not allowed but also clothes that have like foul languages or graphics is not allowed anything that has like the f word or those kind of things that has I don't know all those graphics they're not sure allowed they're not allowed in the school and also please 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 if you want to wear jeans that's why when i entered the school before i entered the school i'm always seeing people wearing baggy t-shirts and baggy jeans i'm like do these people have style once i enter the school i'm like oh they have a dress code so i would just advise you to buy a lot of baggy jeans baggy t-shirts you can also buy like fitted t-shirts but like if it's too fitted as for like it's tight they wouldn't let you wear it honestly speaking sharp carry a jacket this is what i do always take a long jacket that is covering like your hips and your ties always take a jacket so in case they want to send you back and you don't want to go back just wear the jacket before you like just be like oh my so i have a jacket with me or if you know they are going to send you just wear the jacket when you get your class you can remove it when you are going yeah you see any security coming wear the jacket and crazy jeans is not allowed anything crazy cut 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 forget about that so just buy it also buy a lot of cargo pants buy a lot of baggy jeans a lot of sweatshirts hoodies um a lot of sweatshirts with this because the classes are cold like when i say cold like very cold and your classmates wouldn't want to listen to you because of one person do not say oh let's turn off the ac or something people can be brutal i'm telling you now because my classmates have witnessed this so you might be the only person that wants the ac off and the rest of them don't want the ac off so i would just advise you get a lot of jackets so always take a jacket to the class at times the ac might not be working on but it's not the day you choose not to take a jacket that's when the ac will be working and you'll cry you will cry because the class is so 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 cold so always take like get a lot of hoodies a lot of sweatshirts trust me it will help you cardigan sweaters all of that take it buy as many as you can to really help you buy a lot of cargo pants baggy jeans see um, let me tell you about the jeans um. it doesn't have to be so baggy it can be straight leg but as long as it's not tight and it's not like showing too much of shape they will allow you pass but if it's like really show your shape and everybody can see everything 
I'm sorry, they wouldn't let you pass. And also, um, you're allowed to wear boo gowns. So, um, I didn't have any boo gowns, but now that I'm coming, I'm bringing lots of boo gowns. Boo gowns are allowed. You can just wear it in class on a Friday or anything. Boo gowns are allowed. So I shall bring lots of it if you like wearing it. Shall bring it. And Crocs are your besties. Crocs to be your best friend because it's not the time that it's not all the time you want to wear like sneakers or flat shoes or anything. Crocs, what most people use them to wear is Crocs. If you can get all colors, get it black or white or purple, pink, all the necessary colors that you feel are necessary. I would advise you to get it because Crocs are going to help you because it's not all the day you feel it's not or it's not every time you feel like wearing sneakers or flats or heels, any of that. Shit. And by the way, you can wear heels to class. I don't care about what anybody else say. I've worn heels to class like three, four times, if I'm not mistaken. But I've worn, I've worn, <laughs> but I've worn heels to school before. There's nothing there. Don't care about what anybody has to say. Do it because you like it. Yeah, you'll be fine. I promise. And also, please buy a lot, enough tops and enough shoes and enough. Um, you don't need too much jeans, too much cargoes, but buy enough tops. I'm saying this now so that you know that to be able to carry you for like the whole semester or the whole school year I don't know how you want to go about it because you don't want some days whereby you don't have anything to wear you're confused just get enough clothes like it might be like oh it's uni I don't really need much things you do you do it's not not nothing is too much nothing is too much or just get enough things that will be sufficient for you for this semester so you have what to wear let, now let's talk about the security guard so a security guard can let you wear something and the other security guard is like oh it's not allowed see security guards just depend and also if you're on the big side no offense but if you're on the big side there's some certain things that they wouldn't let you wear and at times there are certain things you see somebody else wear and when you wear it, it's not a problem don't get offended because honestly me too i don't know it honestly depends on the security guard you can see somebody wear the literal same thing but you're wearing but your shape is not like the same with the person so if it's like showing too much shape i don't know that on you they'll send you back or something like that and you don't want to be sent back if like, let's say your class is in like in five minutes time and they send you back that's what i'm just saying that's why i said always take a jacket with you because they can't let me tell you so there are two gates the gates before you enter the school so there's there are security guards there then so they might let you pass you. then when it's not time to enter like your own building your school building there's a security guard there and they will just code you imagine you like you pass and let's say your class is like in two minutes time and the security guard is like oh sorry this is not allowed but they allowed you at the other gate and you are so confused so it just depends on the security guard security guards very and this person will say oh you're allowed to wear this and the other person will be like oh you're not allowed to wear this so just always take a jacket with you in case you don't want any wala honestly speaking you don't want them to keep on sending back because if they send you back too much and your name lands with student affairs i don't know what happened to you sha <laughs> you don't want you don't want you don't want any trouble you don't want them they are right you don't want them you don't want them to mark your face and every time they're just stopping you stop me you don't want that also crop tops are not allowed okay so jewelry are allowed necklaces are allowed any form of jewelry is allowed um tattoos are allowed piercings are allowed you can pierce your eyes whatever you want to do it is allowed any hair color is allowed if you want to do black you want to do yellow you want to do white yeah it's allowed and boys are allowed to also make their hair yeah you're allowed to braid your hair whatever they want to do with your hair um for the boys boys have the dress code um pencil jeans boys are not allowed to wear pencil jeans anything that's too fitted i don't think boys are not allowed well see eh, once you get admission to the school they're going to send you like the dress code this thing you can read it up and you see more things about the dress code and all of that that's if i miss now sometimes just seeing like the very very important things yeah so we're done with dress code so just beautiful and by the way should i do like um a back to school lookbook something like for outfits a back to school outfits lookbook a back to school <laughs> should I do like a back to school book for outfits like outfits in school if you like me outfits in school what to wear all of that if you like me to do that just leave a comment down below and i'll definitely deliver so next we're going to id card id card um when you resume at first you're not going to receive your id card till, like after your matriculation yes during like your was it after my matric when did i ever receive like be, like i think i received like i think it's like some days before your matric 
or after i can't really remember but you when at first when you resume you, you won't have any id card you see other people in id card and you shouldn't be happy because after you get your id card you are meant to wear your ID card 247. If you want to enter the school building, you need your ID card. Like at times you you think you can be you can be smart or you forget your ID card, you will not like pass the gate. But when it's not time to enter like your main, like your building, the security guard is like, oh, where's your ID card? And you're like, ah, and they will send you back and you miss your class and you don't want that. Because you can enter Kekeo and they will not stop you at the gates because you enter you are entering Keke or something like that. You pass so when you not get your beauty, they're like always oh, your ID card, they will send you back. Always have your ID card with you two for seven. If you are going to do anything in the beauty, if you are going in the morning, in the night, anything, always have your ID card with you. And also please do not misplace your ID card. Except you have money to pay. If you misplace your ID card, you need to go and get police reports. You pay fifteen thousand or twenty thousand, I don't know, I think it's fifteen thousand. I mean, that's too much stress for what? Why would that police report for? So please do not misplace your ID card if you love yourself. Keep it like your child. Do not misplace your ID card. Keep it like a baby. So next, we're going to talk about freedom. So in PA, you have a, you have a lot of freedom that other schools don't have. You have a lot of freedom. You're allowed to leave school anytime you want. That's most definitely allowed. You're allowed to leave school anytime you want. But like, there's a coffee. The coffee for um, PA students is 11. Once it's 11 p.m., you're meant to be in your hostels. If you are caught, you write down your name and you take it to student affairs and you can answer. You know, you can answer them. If you go out, make sure you're back before 11 because if you come back late, you write down your name and when you keep on doing that, you write down your name and you take it to student affairs. You take it to student affairs and you can face them. Exactly. So please, if you are going out, Make sure you come back early. And cars are not allowed to enter the school after after 10 p.m. Cars are not allowed to enter the school building again. But before that, cars are allowed to enter. So coffee is by 11. Make sure you're in your hostel on or before 11 o'clock. And guys are not allowed to enter girls' hostel except from cooperative girls because it's like there's there's like a cafeteria or something there where you can buy food. That's why um, guys are allowed only in that place though. That's why guys are allowed only in the cafeteria though. But like in the main hostel, guys. Are not allowed, but girls are allowed to enter guys' hostels just to buy food. You're not allowed into their rooms, so don't let them catch you. They're not allowed into the rooms, but like you can buy food in their hostels. I think every guy's hostel sells food, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, every guy's hostel sells food. Um, in the girls' hostel, they sell food in Cedar, they sell food in cooperative girls. Those are the only two places where they sell food, sha. Yeah, but in Cedar, only um, people in the hostel are allowed to buy food. I'm not sure if they allow people from other hostels to buy food, but boys are not allowed to come to the hostel, sha. There's a new hostel, Redwood. I don't know, I'm not sure because of like, as of now, I don't know if they are done with the hostel, but like, I don't know if they will let guys enter the hostel. But when we resume school, we'll find out about that. Also, if you have a car, you can bring your car, but I don't know. Me personally, I feel. I feel it's very unnecessary to bring a car to school. Very unnecessary, yes, unnecessary to me. But if you have a car, you can bring your car. You're allowed to leave school whenever you want. You can have your boyfriend. You have a girlfriend. All of that too. But if you're caught, if you're caught kissing or doing anything you're not meant to be doing, oh, and they write down your name. I'm so sorry for you. I'm really sorry for you. You're going to either get suspended. I don't know if it's bad, expelled. I don't know if that can happen. Or community service. So please, anything you are doing with your partner, and there's a security guard there. I'm sorry for you. Please, whatever you want to do, go and do it outside school. Do not do it in the school premises because if you are caught, I'm sorry for you. So next, we're going to talk about religion. PA is actually a Catholic school, so there's a chapel for Catholics to go there, and there's also a place where Muslims can go to pray. And let's say that you're not a Catholic and you're looking for, oh, where do I go to church? Da, 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 da. So there are two churches if i'm not mistaken or more there's legacy church which is like a redeemed church and there's life points church so a boss comes to school every sunday to pick you so if you're interested they pick you and they bring you back to school so like the boss will come to school pick you up when you're done with church they bring you back to the school so if you're looking for any church and you're not a catholic and you're looking for where to go don't worry they send emails and just send them a message that oh i'm interested and they let you know Add it to the group chat so the boss will come to pick you and bring you back to the school. So, and if you're not interested in this, you can go to your own church, 
exactly can use an uber or uh, wherever you want to go you can go to whatever church you want to go to shop but you're allowed to use school shop so you're good and also there's a fellowship pa student fellowship oh let me tell you guys about pa student fellowship the pa student fellowship is a non-denominational fellowship if you are catholic your 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 attend select then to cost out whatever church you attend you can just come to, all of us just come together to worship and praise god exactly so we have pa student fellowship um fellowship happens every saturday from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. at times it starts from 5 p.m. but it changes so at times like if we're having like an event or something we can, it can start by 5 or 5 30 so if you ever want to see me in person because you can you I really I like I rarely come outside like you cannot find me outside you might be lucky or if less I'm going to buy something with my friends or I'm taking a walk but you can mm, well, except to see me in school you can really find me outside but if you want to see me you want to meet me in person come for fellowship you will see me there you will see me there and trust me fellowship is the best thing that can ever happen to you like if you want a change in your spiritual life and you want to like really take your, your spiritual life seriously come for fellowship i promise you your life will do remain the same your life will remain the same come for fellowship it is so interesting and you will learn a lot of things and you have a family exactly you want to make friends with believers just come for page their fellowship i promise you your life will remain the same so if you want to ever meet a woman person just come for fellowship you will always see me there i'm very nice just say hi to me out ask me if you have any question for me just come say hi to me and i will definitely answer you but fellowship is a place for you to be i promise you your life will do remain the same i promise you your life will do remain the same from fellowship the best thing to happen to you and if you're not able to go to church, fellowship is a good place for you to be every Saturday. I promise you, your life will not be made the same if you come from fellowship. You, there will be a change in your spiritual life, everything. You feel so happy, you just feel so at ease. I'm speaking from experience. Please come for fellowship. Please, 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 please come for fellowship. Be there. Be there. Always be there. So, um, so next we're going to talk about hostels. So, for the girls' hostel, we have how many hostels? We have cooperative girls, we have Pell Hostel, we have Trazadel, we have um, Redwood, which is a new hostel, we have Trinity Hostel, we have Cedar House. There are six girls hostel. There's a new one, which is Redwood, which is Redwood Hostel. I don't really know much about the hostel since it's new and nobody has been there, so I can't really give like a review about the hostel. The best hostel, you guys may ask, which one is the best hostel? The best hostel to me is Cedar Hostel. That is the best. And well, Trazadel. I don't know. I don't know, Sha. I don't know, but Trazadel. I don't. It's not it for me, Sha. For me, oh, it's not it. Then Trinity Hostel. Trinity Hostel. The only downside about it is that they, would, they just have one kitchen, and that's not my thing. Like one kitchen now. Then for for um, for cooperative girls, I I don't know, but like I'm not really a fan. I'm I'm a cedar babe. I'm a cedar babe. But I remain a cedar babe. Then Pearl Hostel. I'm sorry, but Pearl Hostel is is not it at all. It's like I don't want to say trenches. Hey, before they come for me now, I don't know, but like, Pearl Hostel is not it to me, Sha. It's not, it's not it at all. Like, I would not, I wouldn't say you should go there, but if you want to, you can go there. Okay, so we have, okay, so we have Redwood Hostel. So it's a new hostel, so I can't really give like a review. So the best female hostel to me is Cedar, but the thing about Cedar is Cedar is always like it gets filled up on time it gets filled up so if you want to get like if you want to get your room and see that hostel like immediately like maybe you get your admission just send a message so i would advise you to apply to the school early so you can secure your hostel space because see that gets filled up easy like very fast very 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 fast so the best hostel to me for the girls is Cedar Hostel. Then for the boys, I asked one of my male friends and he said the best hostel is Emerald. Is it Emerald? Emerald. The best hostel is Emerald and if a guy I'm looking for a hostel to go to go to Emerald, but I think it's on the high side. I think that's the most expensive moves. I don't know, but I think so. I think so, but they said that's the best. Boys choose Emerald and girls choose Cedar. Yeah. in every hostel there's a kitchen for you to cook so you can bring your food stuff from home for um see that um 
the time for it to stop cooking for see that the gas goes up by nine then for trinity the gas goes up by ten i don't know about other whistles those are the only two whistles i know about so if you want to cook cook during the day and cook on time before it's time for before the gas goes off sir. so you can bring your food stuff from home and you can cook whatever you want to cook sir. so um i think that'll be all for this video because this video is so long already So I'm going to be definitely dropping a part two and I'm going to be doing a Q&A. So if you have any questions about PSU, anything you want to ask me, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. So make sure you go and follow me on my Instagram and make sure you're always doing my story. So you know whenever I like post the Q&A stuff and you can ask whatever questions you want to ask. So this there's going to be a part two of this video. Yes. But again, I'm so sorry for uploading this video very, very, very late. But I hope it's still able to help you guys out. Amen, amen. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video and you have any more questions, you have questions, anything to say about PAU, whatever I want to know, make sure you follow me on my Instagram and check whenever I just post like the Q&A stuff so you can ask whatever, bombard me with your questions, I will answer you. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a very, very, very big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications to get notified every single time I upload a new banging ass video that's on what period. Make sure you guys leave a comment. If you like a part two, let me know, I will deliver. If you actually do the Q&A, let me know, I will deliver and make sure you share this video to your family and friends make sure you follow me on all my socials it's going to be linked down in the description box and yeah that's all for this video i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys